Well, so starting today, the city of Toronto will no longer be providing these updates, providing the COVID-19 data daily. Instead, health officials will be uh, handing them out at least three times a week. But this move not sitting well with everyone, including a scientist who is calling on the city to reverse this decision. Up until now, the, the data which has actually come from the like, public health unit has actually been some of the best data in all of Ontario. And now they've taken a total 180, and now it will statistically become the worst public health unit reporting in all of Ontario. They are the only one that will only be reporting three days a week. Even some smaller health units that only have populations of 50,000 people, 140th the size, they are still reporting five days a week. I think it's inexcusable for the city of Toronto not to be releasing this data every single day when they have the highest hospitalization rate in all of Ontario. Going forward, Toronto Public Health will be posting COVID-19 data online only on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The city has been providing the number of confirmed daily cases, hospitalizations, as well as deaths to its online reporting platform. But a biostatistician we spoke to says scaling back on these updates will lead to a lack of transparency, false assurances and send a bad message to Torontonians. We're going to see them increase every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to see them drop Tuesday, Thursday, and there's going to be a lot of false assurances with that. My worry is, is, is that on a Saturday morning, if the electronic like, values come out and they're extremely low, people will think it's party time. And I think once that happens, we're going to see cases start to steadily increase like we're seeing in the southern United States. The DTA has oftentimes been referred to as the epicenter for the virus with multiple hotspots identified here. In its part, the city says it changed the schedule for updates to focus more on trends and patterns, adding that if the situation calls for it, they will be going back to daily reporting. What we're looking for is ensuring that our data team actually has that time to provide those deeper dives into the data that we have so that we can prepare for future activity and in particular a potential second wave. And I think also in the spirit of transparency and accountability to our public, we are putting more and more of our data up, available for public use through the open data platform. And that takes time as well. Meanwhile, Peel Public Health tells City News it will continue providing their COVID numbers daily on their data dashboard. Last month, the Quebec government reinstated its COVID-19 updates after facing public backlash following the announcement officials would be providing the data on a weekly basis. Well, while the city makes the scheduling shift, the province tells us no change there. They will continue to be providing daily COVID-19 updates, and those numbers will also include data coming from Toronto Public Health as well as Toronto Hospitals.